Have you ever wondered what controls the flow of electricity inside your electronic devices? From smartphones to televisions and even the simplest LED circuits, one tiny but crucial component is at work. Resistors. Resistors are the backbone of electrical circuits, controlling current flow, protecting sensitive components, and enabling countless devices to function properly. But what exactly is a resistor? How does it work? And why is it so essential in electronics? In this video, we'll dive deep into the world of resistors, exploring their function, types, and real-world applications, right here on History of Simple Things. A resistor is an electronic component that limits or regulates the flow of electrical current in a circuit. It does this by offering opposition to the current, a property known as resistance, which is measured in ohms. The higher the resistance, the more it restricts the flow of electricity. Think of it like a narrow pipe in a water system. The narrower the pipe, the harder it is for water to flow through it. Similarly, a resistor controls how much current passes through an electrical circuit. Resistors follow Ohm's law, a fundamental principle in electronics that states that voltage across a resistor is equal to the product of the current flowing through it and its resistance. Mathematically, it is represented as voltage is equal to current times resistance. This simple equation helps engineers and hobbyists design circuits with precise electrical properties. Resistors come in various types, each designed for specific applications. The most common type is the fixed resistor, which has a set resistance value and is widely used in electronic devices. These resistors are often made from carbon film, metal film, or wire-wound materials, each offering different characteristics in terms of precision, stability, and power handling. Another important category is variable resistors, also known as potentiometers or rheostats. These resistors allow users to manually adjust resistance, making them ideal for volume controls in audio systems and dimmer switches in lighting applications. There are also special purpose resistors like thermistors, which change resistance based on temperature, and light-dependent resistors or LDRs, which vary resistance in response to light intensity, commonly used in automatic street lighting. But why do circuits need resistors in the first place? Imagine an LED connected directly to a power source without a resistor. The LED would receive too much current, overheating and burning out almost instantly. A resistor in series with the LED ensures that only the required amount of current flows through it, preventing damage and ensuring proper operation. Resistors also play a key role in voltage division. In circuits, voltage needs to be distributed appropriately among different components, and resistors arranged in series can create voltage dividers, supplying the right voltage levels to various sections of the circuit. This principle is widely used in sensors, where small electrical signals need to be measured accurately. In modern electronics, resistors are found in almost every device you can think of. Inside a smartphone, they help regulate battery voltage, ensuring that delicate microchips don't receive too much current. In televisions, they fine-tune signal processing, improving image and sound quality. Even in something as simple as a doorbell circuit, resistors ensure that the correct amount of power reaches the speaker. Power resistors, which are larger and capable of handling high currents, are used in industrial applications such as motor control and power distribution systems. Precision resistors with extremely accurate values are critical in medical devices like ECG machines, ensuring reliable readings of vital signs. 
If you're into electronics as a hobby or a student learning the basics, understanding resistor color codes is essential. Most fixed resistors have colored bands that indicate their resistance value. This system, known as the resistor color code, follows a standard pattern where each color corresponds to a digit. For example, a resistor with brown, black, and red bands represents one zero and two additional zeros, making it a 1000 ohm resistor. The last band typically indicates tolerance, showing how precise the resistor's value is. Learning to read resistor values quickly can save time when building and troubleshooting circuits. Resistors can be connected in series or parallel configurations, each affecting circuit behavior differently. In a series circuit, resistances add up, meaning the total resistance is simply the sum of all individual resistors. This configuration is useful for voltage division and current limiting. In parallel circuits, however, the total resistance decreases as more resistors are added allowing more current to flow. This setup is commonly used in power distribution systems and electronic circuits where load balancing is necessary. Engineers carefully designed circuits using these principles to achieve the desired electrical properties. The concept of electrical resistance dates back to the early 19th century when scientists like Georg Simon Ohm formulated Ohm's law, laying the foundation for modern electrical engineering. As electronics evolved, resistors became essential components in the development of radios, televisions, and computers. Today, advanced manufacturing techniques allow resistors to be produced with extreme precision, enabling technological advancements in fields such as telecommunications, robotics, and space exploration. Even in the age of microchips and highly integrated circuits, resistors remain fundamental building blocks of electronic systems. While resistors may seem simple compared to complex microprocessors, their role remains as crucial as ever in shaping the future of electronics. So, the next time you use a smartphone, switch on a light, or adjust the volume on your speakers. Remember that tiny resistors are at work behind the scenes, ensuring everything functions smoothly. Whether you're a beginner in electronics or an experienced engineer, understanding resistors is key to mastering circuit design. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.